creating awareness for breast cancer is a continuous effort. And this morning, Dr. Michelle Dunqua yes. is here to help us understand breast cancer awareness from a radiologist perspective. Good morning, Doc. Welcome to Smile Jamaica. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. All right, so um, we had you know, some ladies on early on Tuesday, okay. and they were talking about the process, some doing mammograms, biopsies, and so on. Um, so what's the difference between, a, well, first, what's a mammogram before I, I differentiate what they are? Okay, a mammogram is a special low-dose x-ray that images the breast. It's low dose. Mm -hmm. And you have the screening mammogram, you take four views. You have two, each breast does two views. Two of them are done compressing it horizontally, mm -hmm. and the other two are diagonally. Okay. And it's just for looking for breast cancer. Mm -hmm. What's the difference between a diagnostic mammogram and a screening mammogram? Okay, a screening mammogram, the patient has no symptoms, and you're just looking to see if you want to pick up cancer early. Mm -hmm. So with a screening mammogram, the patient can just go to the hospital or the clinic. And say, I want to do one. That's correct. A diagnostic mammogram now, the patient has a problem. Mm -hmm. There might be a lump, there might be an ulcer, the skin might look funny. Yes. And then that patient is referred by a doctor. Okay. Um, I didn't know that there were different types of mammogram <laughs> machines. And I'm seeing here that there are three types? Yeah, it's yeah. all new. Just yeah. like how the whole computer world is evolving, mm -hmm. the most advanced mammogram machine now is the digital. Mm -hmm. And then there is the old time machine, which is, is the, the analog. analog. Mm -hmm. And then you kind of piggyback where if you have what, an analog with a digital film. OK, so t what does a digital do? Is it just that it reads it quicker? No, mm -hmm. it's less radiation. It reads it better because oh. the images are clearer. Okay. It's, um, it, this compression you get on the breast is less, just releases it quicker. So oh. it's really like anything else, more advanced, mm -hmm. more money for it. Yes. You know? Yes. But it was, that's interesting. I didn't know there were three. Um, and so you said the digital, and the digital uses less radiation, mm -hmm. takes the images. I'm just reading as I go along. Um, the digital is capable of detecting 28%. Yes, yes, it's more accurate. Mm -hmm. The images are so much clearer, you can't miss a small, you, you're, you're, you're likely to see a smaller lesion much better. Better with the digital. Yes. It says it's also, um, it's more readily available. It's readily available in that you get the image, it's on a computer, I can send it to the US, I can send it to the doctor, it can go anywhere. And oh. another big plus for the digital is you can, you can, do post-processing. You get an image and you don't like it, it's too dark, it's too light, mm -hmm. you can change it. You can change it without putting back the patient there to do another image. Oh. So that is another plus. That's a big plus because yes. for parents, yes. for, for, for patients to come back, they don't want to do. When do we screen for breast cancer? Okay, we should start at age 40. Mm -hmm. But you can do a baseline if you're very aware at 35. For those who have a very strong family history of breast cancer, I would say start at 30. Like if your mother died early when she had breast cancer, you should start at age 30. And then you should do from 40 every year until you're 55. Oh, every year? You should do it annually? Yes. Mm. And after 55, no, you can do it every other year until you're about 75. 74. This is what I'm seeing. So there's no need for screening after the age of 74. Yeah, no, you don't really need to. You know, stroke, heart attack. Other cancers can hit you just as quick. And uh, if you get breast cancer at that age, it's usually not as aggressive uh, as the others. Yeah. So once you hit 40 annually, when you get to 55, right. maybe every two years, right. and then once you hit 74, yeah. as, as per needed. But you know, you'll hear other countries, like different countries have different screening thing, but sometimes I believe that is a part of what the country can afford. Like mm -hmm. in Europe, the government will screen them. So they say screen every two years. Uh, but from our statistics, we, we can't we, we screen. We can't afford no. every two years. Right. Because I think, I think in terms of, um, Statistics in, in Jamaica and in African-American women, it yeah. is much higher. Absolutely, it's definitely. Higher. Yes, so we yes, can't afford yes. to do two years. What, 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 if a woman is going to do her mammogram, what are some of the things that she should bear in mind? What type of preparation okay. should take place? It's I'm going to eat certain things. No, man, you can eat. Okay. You have nice breakfast, okay. everything. Okay. You, the best thing for you to do, though, is to wear a two-piece, you know? So you can take off the top easily, change. You can move faster rather than taking off a Your whole, whole clothes. Right. You just right. take off the top. 
that's one. Then I don't want you to wear any deodorant under the arms, right? No powders or lotions in the area of the breast or under the arms. Mm -hmm. You can bring that with you. So you can put it on when, when you you're finished. Because mm -hmm. I was talking to an, another um, doc yesterday, and, and it, when she said it, I said, oh, yeah, that's true. She was saying if you put powder and stuff on it, it may read. It looked like microcalcification. It can look like something's going on there. You yes. don't want that. And you don't want that. Mm -hmm. So come clean, clean. as mm -hmm. clean mm -hmm. as possible. Right. And then when you're finished, you can, uh, can right. do what you want to do. Um, when people hear x-rays and mammograms, they get really, really very worried about radiation um the radiation from the mammogram is it a lot do we have to worry about it first thing i said a mammogram is a low dose low dose a mm -hmm. chest x-ray dental x-rays mm -hmm. more radiation than a mammogram yeah more radiation yes it's not that much the risk of breast cancer is way higher than the risk of the radiation from the mammogram. from the mammogram so you can do it why not an ultrasound instead of a mammogram? What's the no, difference? No, you can't, you can't. Um, they complement each other. For yeah. screening, we want to do a mammogram because if the breast is dense, then we will ask for an ultrasound. When I say dense, the breast looks white mm -hmm. and cancer looks white. The picture of cancer looks white. So you can't see white against white. So we will say, okay, let's do a mammogram, an ultrasound to see what's going on. But an ultrasound, you cannot see the whole breast with an ultrasound. It's just peeping, peeping, peeping through. You cannot see the whole breast. So, oh, so when you do the mammogram, at least you'll know where to yes, focus the you ultrasound. Always, when you do, I, never, I never do an ultrasound until I look at the mammogram and say, okay, this is where I need to look at. Mm. The, you, can, you just can't do that with, you know? with, with the ultrasound right. at once. And then certain breasts are big. You cannot see deep with ultrasound. Mm -hmm. That's another reason. Microcalcifications. Those are one of the things, the early signs of breast cancer. We cannot see microcalcifications with ultrasound, and that could be the first sign of breast cancer. Yeah. They're using some terms, um, and they said if the study is suspicious for malignancy, the following terms may be used suspicious microcalcification. Mm, yes, you have different kinds. Of, micro means small, calcifications is some, they look like grains of salt or mm. sand. Or you look on the mammogram, but some of them are. We as radiologists are trained to know that the ones with the sharp margins, mm -hmm. you know, a those certain are cluster. The ones should be worried yes, about. those are the ones we worry about. All right. I might say this wrong. Is it speculated? Mass? Yeah, that's good. You got okay. it. <laughs> <laughs> and what does that mean? What's uh -huh. a speculated? Mass? It's the, the, the edges are going out like this. You know, can, cancer is aggressive, so when it takes the tissue, it just this is how Rips it grows. It. This is how it grows. Wow. So the margins are speculated, shooting out, it's not nice and smooth. Wow, architectural distortion. Same, similar thing. Mm. The, the breast tissue is twisted all over. When you look at it, you see mm. twisting all over. Mm -hmm. Asymmetric density. So you always compare both breasts. Mm -hmm. And if you see something on this one and you don't see it on this one, you say, hmm. Some you mightn't see a mass or you mightn't see the macro calcification, but just looking at them, right, they don't, they right, don't balance. Right. Mm -hmm. Skin thickening and nipple retraction. Once you start to see those, those are late. Um, skin, you just see a thicker skin on the mammogram and the nipple is pulled in. Oh. So once you hear that in your mama report, that is not nice. Oh, no. It says a biopsy will then have to be done. Yeah, we always, we look at the mammogram to make the diagnosis of cancer. Mm -hmm. We have to do a biopsy. That is the final, final yeah. thing for it. So Radio once something will say a uh, malignant appearing lesion or it looks like a cancer, but mm -hmm. it has to go to once a pathology. Once it looks suspicious, yeah. then you have to go. Mm -hmm. All right, that we got a, we got a mouthful, but we learned a lot, and I'm hoping for this Breast Cancer Awareness Month um, that all our viewers, both men and women, um, learn something. Men encourage the women Absolutely. to go and get the mammograms, mm -hmm. and women, you have to go. Where do, where do we find you? I'm at Arden Road, the Dan Hope Radiology Services. Mm -hmm. and and then a Road. number if that we can call? Or... Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Give, us Give you the thing. number, 978-9543. Yes. It's Dan Hope Radiology Services. All right, so make sure that you go out and you check Doc out. You might mispronounce her name, which I'm about to do, but that's all right. Dr. Michelle Dunquois. Dunqua. Dunqua. Oh, I got it. Dr. Michelle Dunquois, consultant radiologist. <laughs> More smile <laughs> after the break. Please stay with us. <laughs>